I did something bad, people. They want me. I have a bounty. I don't have enough to pay off my bounty, actually. Easy now. Alright. God damn it. I'm here on behalf of Leopold Strauss. Where's our money? Ah, ah, Leopold Strauss. God damn it, you don't speak English, do you? Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. God damn it, you have a debt to Herr Strauss. Pay up! Stop! Już nie mam siły. Ah, no, 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 no. Please, no. No have money, but... But I have this. It is good, it is good, it is valuable, it is Warsaw, yes. I have your things, okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes. What you got behind there? So, przepraszam, nie rozumiem. Move aside. You must have come here with something. Yeah, this is just sad. Just keep quiet. Don't even speak English. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Something. I need, I must eat, Proszę. Uh. Okay, that should about cover things. Alright, I did it. Oh, we're gonna have it donated to the uh, camp. Hey, who's that? Arthur, dumbass. Yeah. Give all the debts. Yes, all the debts. Ledger. The front page of Ledger shows recent contributions to the camp funds from all companions. Lenny, da da da, Sadie, da 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 Arthur. Look. I've been throwing in stuff. All of it. I would do that provisions, man, provisions. Quality and quantity. Sweet, we can just upgrade stuff once we hit that. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. We got something over here. I don't know what it is, but it's something. It's a letter. Dear Arthur. I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. 
It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. All right, let's go see Mary Lennon. Before you come any closer, the answer is no. What did I want? You wanted money. Just a little. Just a little. You already owe me a lot. I am not well. I think I'm dying. I need... I, I need... If you are dying, how do you plan to repay me? Oh, you are a heartless little swine. You really are. Wow. For his own good, Mr. Morgan. I'm sure. What are you doing back here? Ain't you caused enough trouble? Huh? Feeding up half the saloon like that? Come on. There's got to be a fight every night in that shithole. Just show some respect next time. We've run far worse than you out of town before. Oh, come on, man. Someone throws a punch, you punch back. Don't bother pretending different. Yeah, that's true, right? Do you punch back in self-defense? Yeah, I am. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Okay. Mrs. Linton, a collar for you. Draws a gun on me. Hello, Arthur. Mary. I heard you and your friends was around. I. Okay. Damn. Where's, um, where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. All right, this is different. Okay. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians. Oh, geez. Strange religious order. Good for him. They're Change. Quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. That's a cult. So, I'm too rough. To marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but but I think of you often. This is jealousy. I'm begging you, Arthur. 
I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Jamie is naive, you're saying. Arthur. A naive Will fool? You help me? I would. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him Drinking around soda. in the forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You don't owe me nothing. You already owe me. <laughs> Actually, you owed me a lot of things, apparently. Okay, boy. Well, look here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. But I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that. Till I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. Mm. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Mm. Go more than landing rickets without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? Mm. The money's good. I think. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'm a little filthy now, Jesus. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. I got it. I don't appreciate your tone, sir. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive. I got it. All right, stranger. Benedict Albright, capture alive, selling harmful substances as miracle. Uh, in the vicinity of a. All right. I see him. Uh, what we got here? No, wrong weapon. Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I, I heard him. I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if, if you could help me find him. It's just my mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. <laughs> I'm a healer, you know, a medical man, finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. Now the price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. My partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. Uh, I speak to spirits. That I'm a scientist. You're loony. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. 
Oh. Oh. oh, you saved me! Now come on, buddy, let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life! Well, ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump! Oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me, no! Please. I'll take my chance. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! I really do not like you. This is really bad. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is great. Swim to the edge. Er, grab on to something. Keep your head above water. Look out, the rapids. Hold your breath. Whoa. Yeah. Get over to the bank. <laughs> what? <laughs> Loot! <laughs> what the hell did I just do? <laughs> what? No! Put away the weapons! Ooh! Ooh! Jesus, I hate this game. This game makes me do stupid things. <laughs> <laughs> and most likely drown. Well, thankfully he didn't. Ah, oh, jeez Louise. I just hit him in the head. Oh, I seem to keep blacking out. Yeah, you do seem to keep blacking out. Oh, sir, this isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Well, who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. Hey, if you took your own medicine, you'd be in danger to, of yourself. Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? The cell in the back. The cell in the back. This one? Which one? Put bounty in holding area? This is the holding area. Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Oh, 
but I told Bob you. Bob, nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already uh -huh. forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Thank you. Madam. Now, please, remember what I told you. There you go. I came across something. Welcome. In the mood for a show? Um, show info. We are showing the bear today. I need a ticket, please. Okay, head on in. Tent to your left. Alrighty, this one. Fascinating. Folks, I'm going to tell you a morality tale from when our country was young that the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, and old man Wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land, and gorge yourself on fish and meat, and go find a den. Then huh. you'll sleep, not for one night, but for sixty. Go 60. tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad, because the fish were his friends, and Aww. he had to eat them. But he oh. had to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man Wind. Uh huh. To the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle. And he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends. The turtle said, if Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so huh. hot, said the Coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy Possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Huh. Two shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Oh. Uh, he snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just oh God. ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. That's pretty dark. Yeah. Old times had the darkest of things because back in the old days, everything had to be looked with a serious eye. What the hell? What? Yay! No, I'm not. Soon you'll be rotting in the sun. 
You wanna die? I'm happy to oblige. Get in now. Mm mm mm. Look at all that loot. She looks the worst idea I've ever had. Stay out of trouble. I'll try. What the hell? Easy now. All right. Just looking to pass through. That's it. You must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Just walk away, you nosy idiot. Oh, that's great. Hey, Jack. Right. Alright. Anyways, what's back here? Hmm, it's a chest. Neato. I'll take it. Mm-hmm. They just had to block my path. But they didn't know who they were dealing with. They were dealing with the devil. Okay. Yep. That's my life right there, just learning the game. Search for Thomas Downs. Alright. Oh, there he is. This guy. You, uh, uh, whatever do you want? Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? Threatening. If you're running out on debt. I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm do I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please. Please show some compassion. Please. Drowse told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Pay the money. We took your word. Now we'll take your hat. Please, please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> I didn't even beat him. Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! 
What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, oh, dear. I only threatened the man. Only. That's the only thing I did. I did punch him because he tried hitting me with his goddamn pitchfork or whatever. Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. I didn't even punch him that much. He, he's dying from some sickness, dudes. Back. We need medicine. Whoa, look at that. We're getting medicine. Whoa. Uh. That's the ledger. We did some stuff. Holy crap, with those things.